questions. Curious kids send me questions, and I investigate. I was just waiting for the mail. Oh. <laughs> Jumping jellies, we got a letter. Let's read it together. Dear Woby, can pets communicate with humans? From Austin, age nine. What a wild question. And I know just who can help us find out. I'd think very carefully about your next move, Tibbles. On the contrary, Gerbil, you have already lost this round. <gasps> Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Woo! Now, wanna try again? You're on. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Woby. I have a question only an expert pet can answer. I need to find out if you communicate with your humans. Uh -oh. We sure do. I chirp all the time for attention and food. I yip when I want to play. I purr to show I'm happy. But it's not always easy. Hey, Jean, let's play. Come on, it's playtime. Play, play, play. But for some reason, she doesn't always understand me. But she tries. That's what matters. <laughs> Other times, my squeaks are a bit too high-pitched, and humans just can't hear them. <laughs> and that, my friend, is the benefit of body language. Uh, what a language? Body language. Movement. For example... Wow! This move says, Oh no, I'm f f f frightened Stay away! Wow! You definitely look scared. And that's just the beginning. We cats have many signals. A relaxed tail pointing up says, well, hello there. I'm feeling friendly. Wow. A gentle lean or rub against the legs is our way of showing love. But if you see my tail twitching from side to side, back off, because I'm getting cranky. <laughs> we still meow too, of course for attention, or food, or to tell people we want something. Wow! So pets communicate with both sounds and actions. Fascinating! Thanks for your wild question. I got to learn so much. See you next time for another great fact-finding adventure. Woohoo!